Greetings, my dear beloved children. Today I would like to draw some kind of a conclusion to my previous messages on energy confrontation. As you have probably understood, confrontation is such as typical of people in countries of low vibration frequency energy. Their dense dark pressed energies are impervious to light. They are covered in these low frequency energies like in armor and anything inconsistent with them makes them furious. While a human being or a country of high frequency energy profile generates love and acceptance and conscience of such a human being or country collective conscience is not susceptible to the influence of low vibration frequency energies. Yet. While you are still living in the 3D world it is impermissible for light souls to relax completely and let things drift. It is high time to think not only about yourselves but about those you can rescue as well saved from the destructive effect of negative energies that reign literally in any sphere of human life. So, what does your role of rescuers presuppose? Unlike common people you know what and why is going on the planet nowadays. You consider all your life and country events from the point of view of the laws of the universe. You understand the tricks of high and mighty design to hold people conscience within the limits of duality and hide from them the global changes taking place on earth. You watch the world in a different way understanding what is hidden behind an attractive facade. And now, my dear ones. You will have to assume the role of a tutor for the souls not fully revived but on the way to revival, so only you can open their eyes to the current events on the planet since almost all governments keep silent. And this conspiracy of silence is not by chance. Reptiloids and others with them at the controls are not going to give them of their own accord to those who will open the energy dungeon and set free the divine human conscience that has been forced into the cage of duality for centuries. You can buy the power of thought and spirit take over them in terms of energy and get at the will of your beautiful planet ship and turn it towards light to the energy space of the fifth dimension. Wisely and calmly, with no excessive enthusiasm or haste explain to the people ready to hear you that humanity has reached the critical point of its development, both your planet and man as a unique divine creation are endangered now. In a persuasive reasonable manner making use of real world examples you should tell people about all the tools used by the officials of the majority of the countries to totally enslave man intruding into the holy of holies human soul, conscience, DNA endangering human free and independent existence. You should ask for help all the higher powers of the universe to guide and protect you preventing you from falling out of high vibration frequency energy stream which will not only assist you in being up to the mark but also will liberate that person conscience from 3D world programs and reveal their underlying memory of their divine origin. And I bless you for this. Greetings, my dear beloved children. Today we will continue speaking about karmic ties and study the rare cases of karmic knots between humans and human reptiloids. As you already know from my previous message series on reptiloids such creatures possessing two souls are rather common on earth. Their permanent inner state resembles what is called double personality since the psychological end. Consequently, energy inconstancy of half humans half reptiloids results in their being unpredictable that severe is the confrontation between a human and a reptiloid soul inside them. So, a lot depends on who is by such creatures side. There are pure and strong enough human souls who plan their incarnation on earth for the sake of the souls who are entrapped in bodies like this. Well. There can be karmic ties between them and strong long-term ones at that. And the following thing accounts for that. As one human soul neighboring a reptiloid soul in one body gets under another human soul guardianship the former becomes dependent on it and understands it can get rid of the unwelcome neighbor without its help. Such souls often become partners in their incarnation and the energy interaction between them never stops. As far as their children are concerned, it is essential that at the moment of conception as well as during all the pregnancy period it is the energy of love that dominates it is the only one capable to attract a valid human soul from the heaven. If it happens, the family energy profile will change to such an extent that it will be difficult for a reptiloid soul in a human reptiloid parent to survive in its high vibration frequency so it will leave the physical body giving way to the human soul for good and all. It also applies to the case with mother being a human reptiloid. Sincere, pure and unconditional love of father can drive away the reptiloid part out of mother body and during the conception can attract a valid human soul of their child. This is why, my dear ones, I tell you that much about energy that not only creates your reality but also decide fates of people ties and undies karmic knots changing your own life scenario and those of your nearest and dearest ones in particular. 
as well as that of the whole planet in general. Sometimes a human soul failed to help the dear soul incarnated in one body with a reptiloid comes to earth over and over again in order to liberate it once and for all since the latter, as a rule, is born to the same conditions but having gained some experience it is becoming stronger and stronger with every single incarnation. I have told you about this, my dear ones, so that you understand how complicated and versatile the world around you is and how much depends on each of you. Not everybody on earth is ready to understand and accept the information so unusual for people but anybody can generate peace and quit, love and harmony and these pure divine energies will do the work that many of you are not ready to do consciously yet. The greatest wisdom and the bravest soul feat a human born on earth is capable of is to live happily and jolly themselves and to share joy and happiness with anyone they come across accepting everybody the way they are, which means loving them unconditionally. And I bless you for this. Loving you endlessly Father Absolute spoke to you. Greetings, my dear beloved children. Today we will speak about energy confrontation between different countries. And, for a start, let's see what lays the foundation of this confrontation. Since any country has its own egregor it is possible to say that it is egregors that interact with each other. The more ancient a country with its traditions and culture is, the stronger its egregor is and the richer and more versatile its egregor profile is. Sometimes it happens that relatively young countries very quickly create egregors as strong though. It results from the fact that these countries' heads artificially create national ideas, common moral values and initiate fanatic patriotism, which generates low vibration frequency emotions that are very powerful at the same time. These countries' citizens are forced into strict psychological limits and the majority of them, as a result, are at the same wavelength supplying their country egregor with severe blowouts of similar energy, which creates an illusion of energy power. A vivid example is the United States of America a country with hardly any history and culture of its own, but it managed to establish control almost all over the world imposing on other countries its moral values based on money and power. So, how do different countries' egregors interact? As any country energy profile is determined by the citizen's overall energy its collective conscience, the vibration frequencies of different countries are different. The basis for countries' egregors' interaction is one and the same principle is for human beings' interaction. The law of the universe like attracts like shows itself here in the most apparent way. Dense egregors filled with low vibration frequency energy interact with the egregors of the similar vibrations automatically supplying each other and multiplying evil on earth. As a rule, these countries' leaders get on well with one another as they operate on the common for them notions and principles of the international policy. If they contact a high vibration frequency egregor, which means facing alien energies they find themselves in the situation of rejection and misunderstanding. And there are two options here, either a heavy dense aggressive egregor is not pulled by vibrations to a light airy spiritual egregor of another country or tries to take over it transforming its light energies into dark ones. Unfortunately. The latter is more often to win since national interests of bellicose egregors countries require more and more new markets and raw material sources. They also try to assert themselves at the cost of other countries taking their territories under control and making attempts to impose their own values on the local population. To achieve their goal reptiloids who are usually in head of such aggressive countries do not neglect anything, lies, hypocrisy, bribes, flattery high crust promise and giving lip service. In terms of energy everything comes to submitting the locals to low vibration frequency energy so dear and welcome for reptiloids. In fact, everything on your planet functions according to one and the same scheme designed by reptiloids long ago, to impersonalize and enslave all the countries and nations for the sake of a high caste reptiloids cluster that seized power on earth. At the subtle level their egregor that has been creating by them for centuries looks like a monster that puffs up with the egregors they have managed to supply with the same energies and, consequently, to reduce to their level. Here we will stop for today. Loving you endlessly Father Absolute spoke to you. Greetings, my dear beloved children. So. We have studied all the kinds of energy interaction and confrontation both at the level of human beings and that of countries that is a combination of all their citizens' energy. And now I would like to put extra emphasis on the things that happen within countries' egregors. It is untypical of energy to be stagnant and it always in motion that is why the energy profile of people, 
cities and countries cannot remain the same. And today we will speak about the factors that can essentially influence these changes the way it becomes obvious even to the profane. It is easy to trace the idea by the example of European countries that have changed beyond recognition over the recent decades. It happened because in the countries that used to be so happy with their well-established customs and traditions, rich cultural and historical heritage, which resulted in their unique atmosphere they were the only ones to feature and relatively stable energy profile there suddenly poured huge crowds of immigrants with mentality and traditions alien to the local population and, which is more important, with alien energy and this energy confrontation within the country leads to these countries losing their faces dissolving in the energy chaos that arose. This alien invasion began to ruin people's souls making them either disoriented and frightened or aggressive and irreconcilable. Consequently, these countries eager started changing drastically filling with negative energies of all kinds. Yet. Other examples are recorded when crowds of immigrants enriched in terms of energy the countries they arrived at. Thus, forced out of their motherland by the bloody revolution many Russian immigrants, people of high cultural and spiritual standards, contributed their purifying energies not only to European but many other countries as well. The things that are going on in the world nowadays resemble a hidden energy war with many countries taking it lying down in the face of the invisible opponent. And certainly there are reasons for the aggressors to turn up. They are well calculated reptiloids campaigns designed to weaken in terms of energy many pure human souls that are dangerous for them indeed. Initiating in people energies of fear, aggression, rejection and censure reptiloids and trap human souls within low vibration frequencies scope where they can easily control them and prevent from gaining freedom and seeing the current affairs in the raw. As I have already mentioned in one of my messages for this purpose there are produced whole armies of clones who follow their master's instructions blindly introducing chaos and destruction to European countries that are dangerous for reptiloids. Now people start realizing the absurdity of the situation and criminal activities of their heads leading them to collapse. These countries' political circles witness gradual arrival of revived conscience people independent from the hidden government and they are the ones to become the locomotive to pull Europe out of crisis financial, spiritual and moral one. Here we will stop for today. Loving you endlessly Father Absolute spoke to you. Greetings, my dear beloved children. Today we will switch over to a new topic that is closely connected with the previous one but reveals it from a different angle. And the issue under discussion will be energy flow from man to egregors and backwards from egregors to man. This process is unceasing and sometimes it can be rather complicated since one and the same person can supply with energy several egregors at the same time and get energy from each of them at that. The older one gets the closer their relations with egregors are state, religious, professional, Family 1. It is accounted for by the fact that in the course of time they build up their own well-established view on every sphere of life, which means energy stability that contributes certain type of energy to a certain egregor. It is by means of energy of the same kind generated by huge amounts of people that egregors come into being. And there is a wide range of them depending on what they are based on. So, even a certain country egregor can comprise a lot of many egregors sometimes of mutually exclusive energies. Why does this happen? First of all, it is has to do with the introduction into human conscience of certain ideas that are beneficial to some circles of high and mighty. For example, one segment of population can generate patriotism energy being proud of their country while another one severely criticize and compare it with other more developed countries where people seem to lead a happier life. The same applies to religion some people are fanatic in their belief in God while others are out and out atheists. Professional sphere and scientific circles in particular feature energy chaos as everyone thinks they are right persisting in their opinion and completely rejecting that of others. So, even these many egregors lack energy unity which is actually natural as, and you already know it, energy constantly undergoes modifications being always in motion. But the point is what way it is changed and what vibration frequency is typical of it. If energy confrontation between people supplying one and the same egregor is characterized by aggression, jealousy and censure energy in a word, any type of negative energy, this egregor filled with separation energies bring them back to the same people encouraging this way the circle of low vibration frequency energy. So, how can the vicious circle be broken? One and only way, by learning to respect other people's opinion, accept them as they are, not to return offense for offense and generate peace, love and harmony wherever you are. By doing this you will not only change the energy profile of your home, 
work in town but also contribute pure and light energy to many egregores and your country egregore in general and this energy will return a hundredfold to people decreasing the degree of tension in all spheres of life. Do always remember, my dear ones, that the energy of love and light is hundreds of times as strong as any negative energy just because of its vibrations. It is more rarefied and can absorb and dissolve huge amounts of negative energy. It always gains a victory in the unavoidable energy confrontation typical of the dual world, even if the victory seems to be won by the dark forces at first sight. And nowadays each love energy blowout of yours is immediately caught up by your heavenly helpers and increased many times due to the fact that earth energy space itself possesses quite different vibration frequency now. Here we will stop for today. Loving you endlessly Father Absolute spoke to you.